So today we are headed to our first hike on the North Shore. We're going to be exploring the North Shore of um, Oahu today. And we're going to the Kaena Point Trail. Let me show you. We're almost there. And literally the directions we took are like, um, they're like through the middle part. Like the highway takes us right through the middle part of Hawaii. Say hi to Hans. How excited are you about going on another hike? <laughs> you have to watch our TikTok in order for you to know what that is. <laughs> this is the sign of being abused. If you're being abused, use this sign. <laughs> we should we should do that lately. That's 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 a serious thing. We should look it up because I yeah, I, we will look it up. But it's uh, we just whatever we made a funny TikTok about it. Um, about me abusing him. So that's the funny part. It's not the sign is not funny. It's me, him, using that sign towards me. Okay, so anyway. So we're gonna, what's on our agenda and we're gonna vlog through our day for, this is like everything in this video is what you could do in one day in Oahu. Like this is like a, you know, maybe a day by itinerary. Everything is kind of planned so we can go um, in succession with the stop. So we're going to um, Kayana Point Trail. Then we're gonna go more, so that's like in the North Shore, but then we're gonna go to the town of Holloway and there is like a bunch of um, food trucks that we're gonna go to there. We'll probably have lunch after the hike. And then after that, we're gonna go check out the pipeline and Shark's Cove, which is all in the same area. We're gonna also hit the beach today, which I'm super excited about. And then on the way back, we're gonna stop at a really beautiful sunset bar, hopefully. That's the plan, if we have enough time, if everything doesn't close, and dinner. So, yeah, follow along. So Hans just pulled over on the side of the road, and we have not, we've been here for like three, four days now. This is our fourth day. And we haven't been to a beach yet because Waikiki Beach is so crowded. It's not like a beach we would want to sit at, but. I just gotta tell you, you have to rent a car when you're in Oahu. If you wanna really properly see the island and appreciate it for all its beauty, you gotta rent a car. Check this beach out. You see what I mean? Now that's what I mean. So there's our car, our tour car, and look at the beauty and mountains behind us. And we are almost to our hike, which I know, no doubt, there's gonna be like some really amazing views as well. All right, guys, we made it to the entrance of the hike. And just a little preface on this hike, it's basically a like shoreline hike. So you're really gonna be able to see a lot of the, just the ocean, the beach, which is really, really nice. Here's the entrance. It looks like somebody just drove out of there. So this is vehicle access beyond this point, permit only. So it looks like you're supposed to have a permit in order to do this. Um, let me see. In the entrance to the hike, it looks like it's down here. Oh yeah, I see somebody walking into it right now. So you can see this is all the parking area. We parked a little bit further up, but this is the parking area for the hike. And I believe it's not like a really long hike, which is good because the other day we did like six hour hike. It was, you saw in our vlog, six hours, we're not about that right now. So I'm glad this will be a nice, quick hike and then we can go to the beach so we're basically going to be hiking around the most western tip of the island and around the western tip of the island there was the oahu railroad which got destroyed by like a tsunami many many years ago i believe in like 1940 um so now we're just gonna follow there's like signs and you just basically you can follow the coastal line to see a more of a scenic route next to the island. So around the island. Really pretty. This is our first stop right here. 
the tunnel. My legs are soaked. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I saw it, but I did not look. It did not look. No, it didn't look like it was coming that far out. I saw it from the back of my head. Great. Now something to dry off on the hike. Oh my gosh. That was funny. Okay, go. I'll take a photo of you now. We're here. I was telling Hans we needed another vacation, all, all of us together. Another trip. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. We both just would have saved me. I just talked to my baby. Oh, yeah? Miss Diva cannot walk around with wet socks, so. Not wet socks, sand. Yeah. Sand is the difference. It's yeah, but sand. we have no choice. We have it's no sand. choice. Well, I'm, I'm fixing myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw. Your hands are filming. This is how you dry socks when you're on vacation in Hawaii. Did you see him? You didn't see him smell his socks. He literally smelled his socks. That's disgusting. Isn't it? Smells it? like. You didn't do that, Barbie. No. That's a very Hispanic thing. That is like a very Hispanic thing, I guess. I know. Yeah, because then your feet smell no matter what. What happened? What? Hold on. I can't see anything. Hold on. Let me turn this off. Look at this rock formation just done by the sea. It's so cool. So one tip I can give you for this hike is it's since it's a coastal hike, there's a lot of sand. So if you wanted to, you could even wear your slippers, but you wouldn't be able to like comfortably go on these types of rocks. Um, but you absolutely don't need to wear hiking shoes because mine already have gotten wet. As you saw from the previous clip, they've gotten sand in them. Should be interesting. They're gonna need a full on cleaning. <laughs> Look at these cool plants that all grow here. There's one type here and then one type here. My daughter, the plant lady, where daughter is now because they both are into plants, would love these plants. I could just see them at home living. Look at this and under this intense heat. So I feel like they would be good even maybe indoor plants. I don't know, but they look like it. And if you look over there, you'll see car tracks. And all the way, like all the way over there, cars can get permits and they can drive through this entire like, outskirts of this island. And you can do a bike trail. You see that guy biking? Pretty cool. You're walking the beach trail? We're walking the beach here. So Hans is going to attempt fly the drone here. It's a little bit windy, so we're gonna test it out, but hopefully we can get some good drone footage. This is where I want you to say, 
you're on vacation and me working. Oh, I'm doing this. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just more like work. Yeah, well, okay. Hey guys, so we finished the hike and it was really beautiful. We didn't go all the way around because it's 2.7 miles one way, but we did half. We've been hiking for, I think it's almost like two hours, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, about two hours. So I'm gonna let Mr. Critical himself give you his rating on the hike. <laughs> what did you think of the hike? <laughs> no, it's a great hike. Uh, you got the beautiful ocean with the beautiful waves, and then you look this way and you have, you got these mountains right here. You're not gonna get that anywhere else. It's very beautiful. So, if he likes it, that means you guys will like it too. That's why I say Mr. Critical. It is, it's beautiful. And just some tips, if you're gonna take this hike, you can wear slippers or you can wear your hiking boots. If you're gonna be on the coast, I think I suggest, suggest flip-flops. You'll be a lot more comfortable. Um, you could put your feet in the water wherever applicable. So, amazing, you carry water way we did. Make sure you're putting on a lot of sunblock, wear a hat, because it is the sun, there's no like shade. So you're gonna, it's gonna come down on you. So make sure you're wearing your SPF on your face and your body, at least a minimum of 50. And wearing a hat and sunglasses protect yourself because you only have one skin. And aside from that, if you're ever in Oahu, definitely take this hike. I absolutely loved it. Really, really beautiful. Definitely would come back. And if you're not already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Cinderella's. On the camera. Hey guys, so we're at Sharks Cove now. I came to Sharks Cove for the first time back in 2022 and it's actually really like a really beautiful place. It's unique in Oahu. Um, this is a great spot for snorkeling and it's I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see but I would say it's a <laughs> I'm not from What I would say is, hold on, let me put it right in my background. Um, stay where you are, I'm moving away from you. What I would say is that be really careful because um, the rocks are really sharp and there's lots of rocks when you enter the lagoon, but it is a lagoon. So it's like kind of blocked off by the ocean from all these rocks. So you can see all these rocks. It's all blocked off, but you need to be really careful where you put your step because you could cut oh, your, yeah, the bottom right of your feet. So let's go follow me. And this is a quick, this is right next to the Banzai pipeline. So it is like a, a just a, within your day trip, you can stop here too. So let's go. Here. So you can see the rocks are very sharp. Be careful even getting in. Be careful in those spots. This is definitely like a navigating process and you really need to like bring your water shoes, which I, I have so many pairs at home and I didn't even think about packing them. So remember when you're going to Hawaii, remember to pack your water shoes. So I just made it to the other side because Hans found another way to get over here, which is so much easier than the other side where everybody enters. You see that side? Everybody enters that side. But there's another entrance right here. And there's less rock. It's so much easier to 
to get into the water over here, which is incredible. So. so you can see there's a lot less rocks here, making it super easy to walk in. Look at how beautiful this water is. You guys can see it. There's people that even bring like their floaties, and this is a nice place you could float, bring your snorkel gear, your water shoes, and you can kind of just—it's very shallow, but very rocky. So you can you can snorkel, you can floaty around. It's it's a good idea. Not bad. Let's just buy it. Hey guys, so I just left the uh, lagoon area where you could actually snorkel and we took a little hike on the other side. I wanted to show you what it looks like. This is actually, when we came in 2020, this is where we were originally. So you can see it's kind of very, very rocky. So you have to be careful down here and they actually have it, they actually have it blocked off, but you know, just be careful if you're gonna come down here. I don't recommend it, it but if you are gonna go down there and like you wanna take photos or whatever, that's kinda the area. Breathe. 